when Archive started and I became aware of it, I realized, oh my gosh, I can get the technical reports from everywhere. Because uh, it wasn't just uh, universities, it was also places like Bell Labs or uh, Digital that had these technical reports that were the, the cutting edge papers that were coming out right then. I, did, did you guys have that kind of experience as well? Yes, very much so. I mean, finding the information in the early days, I mean, computer vision is a fairly young field. Uh, you know, it started in the mid 60s when uh, we thought we could solve it in a summer and uh, it turns out to be quite a bit more difficult than we, than we, uh, we thought at the time. And the world has changed quite a bit and archive has been a disruptive force in this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, there, there's, there's no doubt that, uh, you know, suddenly there's this kind of gold mine available of, you know, not just kind of the obvious things where you would go and you would look at, you know, if, uh, a, a few of those dusty old manuscripts in this physical building we used to have called a library or something like that. Or... I think that there's a natural place for archive as essentially the repository for uh, the conference papers. And I, I think, sure, Greg, maybe you guys have to know, I think that some of the uh, machine learning conferences either have done, they're, they're definitely talking about doing this. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's, yeah. it's, 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 it's silly for conferences to have their own crappy version of something that Archive does well. There are certain physics journals that won't accept your paper unless it's appeared in Archive. Um, because it's, it's sort of a low pass acceptance, you know, uh, as a, as a scientific paper, scientifically formulated paper with references and other things. So different communities have different norms and expectations around the role that archives should play in their own ecosystem. Things are moving really fast. And even as a yearly conference or twice a year conference, it's still too slow. And now we're talking about a weekly cadence. Yeah. If you don't look at the, the papers in archive on a weekly basis, you are missing out. Now, I, I wanted to talk about this quality bar and it's a very, very imperfect filter. There is sort of a sanity check. Is this a paper uh, that's you know worthy of the of, of, of putting up on archive? Um, so even that's a, a bit of a challenge at scale. Yeah. So you do sort of minimal authentication at the moment. One could imagine sort of you know uh, you know more uh, heavier authentication. I mean, I don't think you want significant authentication because that would sort of break what makes archives so great. But you could imagine, you know, some levels of uh, authentication. Archive is really a big community of volunteers, not referees, but moderators who are just sort of eyeballing papers to try to make sure that they, first of all, they're classified the right way. We, and yeah. we try to use some machine learning to do that. A hundred years from now, what should archive be? Well, I'm going to give you my take on it. Uh, go, go for it. Go uh, for it. Well, I think it should be the infrastructure that runs all publications and on which all scientific data and uh, contests, uh, if we still have those, and repositories are are told. And it should it should have a uh, roll back the clock feature where you pick up something from as long ago as the distant days of 2021, when people were still worried about the stupid pandemic or whatever, uh, and you pick up some random CVPR paper and you say, you know, did they actually get this result on this data set? And you discover that they did, and well, hopefully you discover that they did, and you, and you tweak some parameter to support your hypothesis. And, and, and it, it's kind of, you know, it's got these kind of stratas uh, that you can access and you can play back, uh, you know, history uh, in time. And I think that would, that would be cool. That would be cool. Think of it as a researcher years from now saying, this is a problem I'm trying to, to solve, show me, what has been done, right. let me see what are the gaps and tell me what are good direction to go into and then let me use my creativity to produce this and then give me the opportunity to post it. So that's to me is a customer, uh, the, the customer facing uh, environment that I would like archive to provide. 
I love that. I love that. I, I would augment it with one small change. It's not just me. I want to be able to work with my collaborators openly to, to push that thing forward. And I think if Archive accomplishes both the things that you, you guys said together with helping the community come together around problems and build on each other, um, then it's, it's doing well.